Pop voice focuses on creating a natural sound, which means that pop singers can sing with their own voice through scientific training. Compared with traditional vocal music, pop vocal music is easier for beginners to get started. In this four video series, we will explore the key points of pop vocal teaching at the beginner's level to help students better understanding and master this skill. The student in video is 24 years old with no vocal related experience. He has performance level in piano playing and basic music knowledge. He's introverted, not very expressive and has a neutral attitude towards singing. The first video focuses on preparation of singing. Starting from the standing position, students learn how to inhale and breathe correctly and how to maintain the health of the vocal cords. I have three rules for my student and I have my students stay in the same posture throughout the in needle class to create muscle memory. These bases are crucial to becoming a great pop singer. We will embrace this concept through practical exercise to ensure that students are able to vocalize correctly. During the course of the first lesson program, the student was not very positive and confident as he was just starting out in a completely new area. However, during the breath exercise, the student demonstrates a very good understanding and makes a significant progress right from the beginning of the class. In the second video, we looked at how to vocalize scientifically. Before the lesson began, I took the student through a systematic review of what he had learned in the previous lesson. In this lesson, I taught basic vocal exercise and identified the appropriate areas for the student to practice. And I asked the student to Im 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 imitate a puppy painting in order to quickly and accurately find the correct position for the body's power points when singing. In this lesson, the student is not still not clear about the basic rules of vocalization, but the breath duration practice has improved, improved by leaps and bounds. In the third lesson, I tried to let the student take the lead himself but having his review what he had learned earlier before the lesson starts. And in this lesson, I tried to let him sing the birthday song with his own interpretations and have them critic it at first, identifying strengths and weaknesses that I can correct. The students sing the piece, identify potential problems, and I design the program for the next lesson based on the problems. In this lesson, there is a slight, slight decrease in motivation at the, at the amount and difficulty of the content being learned increases. But the scene is clearly of the increased interest at the student take ownership himself. The final video will focus on targeted practice. Students learn how to solve the pitch problem encountered in the sound by practicing their voices and how to develop their range and how to judge the content of the exercise. In this lesson, I try to explain the principles of vocalization to him by imit imitating familiar sounds and things that students can quickly locate and practice. In the end, the overall flow of this lesson ends with the student mastering the basic vocalization and vocal exercise. And the students make significant progress along the way. As a teacher in the video, my shortcoming in teaching was that there were too many verbal descriptions, which led to some confusion when the students were learning new content, and the design of the lesson content was not full enough, especially the part of the board articulation was not smooth enough. This above is my teaching report. Thank you for your listening.